Community. 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 There are lots of men running over the ball. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we will always have to fight for recognition yeah. that men get easily. I'm a bad omen when it comes to football, so nobody wants me on their side. <laughs> Heroes, what's going on? Today we're talking with ladies on the street about love-hate relationship with football. So let's see what the ladies have got to say. We were wondering who's playing tonight. Yeah, with me went. Oh, okay, really? that's why I got so high. Yeah, we were like, yeah. everyone seems really excited. Ooh, Ooh a tea. Yeah, we should watch it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big football fan. So, like, I've got no idea who's playing. So <laughs> okay. Oh, England's playing! Oh, well, maybe I will find out the score after. <laughs> Now we're coming out of lockdown. It's so nice for people to be together and celebrating things. It's nice to have a sense of community and fun. Everyone's loving the Euros. Good sense of community when you're going out. I just enjoy the atmosphere. The all communities came together. Like I feel like it's the one thing that they sang off the same hymn sheet. When the football was on, everyone was so united. That's what I love about it the most. And you, you know, you always know when it, the football's on because everyone's quite excited. There's like an energy in the pub. I suppose I like the energy and that everyone's really, really happy and excited and I, I will watch. There's a large community behind it and it's all about teamwork and the love for the game and I can appreciate it. I am a massive really football big fan. football fan. More widely brings everyone together. Yeah. And a good excuse to drink. Yeah. <laughs> I tend to like the audiences at football games better than American football games. Seems like more of a wholesome experience somehow. Everyone's just really into it and it's really fun. Well, I like that it's constant action. Yeah. Nothing ever stops because in American football, you get like maybe 20 seconds of play time and then you wait like two or three minutes to anything else to happen again. Mm -hmm. Like everything's go, go, go. It's yeah. really fun. It's an easy game. It's just like getting a ball in a, in a goal. That's all you need to like, do. <laughs> I like that it's, I don't know, lots of men running over the ball. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nice legs. Maybe I might like a football player. I like, what's his name? Um, Radful, Radford, what's the name? Like that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> but Radford, whatever his name is, he's cute. <laughs> I grew up from like two years old always watching it. There's a family aspect to it and it's just a sport that I love to watch. My grandpa, he loves football. He's Italian, so he's always like watching it. Every World Cup with the blue shirts, everybody getting together. My grandma making food and he's watching the football. My mum's Belgian and my dad's Scottish, so there is a bit of a rivalry there. Uh, so I will support Belgium until the day I die. <laughs> and we're doing really well. Every single football match I've been to, whatever team my family supports, lose. So I'm a bad omen when it comes to football, so nobody wants me on their side. <laughs> I hate that that's also that's all been allowed, but they've like they've cancelled things like North Hill Carnival and all the music stuff this year. It's just been completely scraped. I think the hooliganism is that a word? Yeah, a lot of rubbish on the streets, and when you've got a lot of young boys with a lot of testosterone in them and some beer, they kind of <laughs> get them going, right? When people get like a bit carried away in a violent way, like that's probably not a good thing. Like, let's just like, at the end of the day, it's a sport, so we, no one needs to get like violent about it. The hooligans, the racism, uh, the homophobia, all those kind of things. We just hope all the stigmatism will one day leave football. Sometimes it can be a little bit scary if they're all out in a big, huge crowd and they're always like shouting and screaming and chanting a song. And yes, okay, at the beginning of the day, it seems good. But they're not all drunk, but then as the day goes on, um, I think maybe maybe that's what scares girls away from it. Well, there's people yeah. chanting in the background. And there we go. Yep. A lot of this. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rattiness. Love it. I don't like how men are really passionate about football, and that's fair enough. But you know how when girls are really passionate about, I don't know, boys' bands or something, they always get called out for it. There's like an exception for male athletes. So like whenever I've spoken to kind of guys about football, and they're like, oh, it's a women's game. Like, oh, I'm not watching it. It feels like there's a difference and there's a there's bias towards anything where a man is playing. So that just makes me not even want to invest in it ten times more. I hate it. It's so male dominated. I mean, there's still like an insane pay gap between yeah. our men and women's team, which is really upsetting. And they've been fighting for that for so many years. I'm so sorry, but I don't give a. Sh <laughs>
I'm happy that people can go back to watching someone kick around a rubber ball. Yeah, oh yeah, American women yeah. are the best. Not the men, but the women are great. Yeah, yeah. the women are absolutely phenomenal. Because I think the women's national team is so good, a lot of girls in the US love playing soccer. Anytime the Olympics or World Cup comes on, I get super into the women's team again. Yeah. Um, I personally haven't watched women's football, but my flatmate is an avid fan. She actually plays football. She drags me along to quite a few matches up in Dalston, and we play together, which is a lot of fun. Did we have a saw the Paralympics like when that was in London? What was that? 2012? Was that 2012? Yeah, I went to the football game there, and that was a female team, and that was that was sick. I actually loved that. But yeah, no, I think it is a shame. It's definitely not as widely supported at all. But I think it's definitely definitely on the up, like there are a lot more people taking interest. I think it's not advertised as much at all, it's not on TV, it's not given as much coverage, so I think that's the main reason really. I've actually been starting to see a lot of female football on the TV, I think BBC have started to really bring it in, but it's not something that I would, I mean when I watch football it's not like I necessarily choose to watch it. I don't know her name, but there's one female footballer that everyone just seems to dislike. Um, she's queer, she's got short hair, I don't know her name exactly, but every time anyone, she's playing everyone's like, oh she's too arrogant. But in actual fact, she's just confident. She knows, like, she's, she knows she's a good athlete. And that just makes me go, oh, I would want to see that in person, but I wouldn't want to watch it on TV just because you'd hear the slander that comes with it. Women are always overlooked yeah. and harassed in this world, so. It's always been known as a male sport as well. A lot of football icons are, are men. We will always have to fight for recognition yeah. that men get easily. Yeah. Female football is brilliant. I wish it was just more uh, publicised and there was more opportunities to watch it. I wish it was on the BBC, on ITV, and so you wouldn't have to go to a sports bar to get access to it. But hopefully that will that will be happening soon. But I know that the women's teams rock it. Justina, what about you? What is your love-hate relationship with football? I used to play football. It kind of plays a different music with my brain. I can relate better, I suppose. When they score, I can feel the glory. When they lose, I can definitely <laughs> feel the pain. I hate the fact that guys just take it too seriously. They just get upset for a day, and I hate that. What is your love-hate relationship with football? Please let us know in the comments below. Also, find us on Instagram, subscribe and like us. See you next Friday. See you next Friday.